Hi, Brian from The Springworks. Uh, I know what you're thinking, we do a lot of suspension work on vehicles and cars, but we also do trailer repair. What we have going on here today is we have your standard boat, tandem axle, and periodically what we like to do is recommend to people come in and do a bearing pack, uh, which means service your wheel bearings. So a lot of people like to use the bearing buddies and service their wheel bearings by just packing them full of grease. What the dealer recommends is once a year or every six to 7,000 miles to go ahead and remove the hubs, take the bearings out of the hubs, clean them, inspect the rollers, inspect the races, adjust the brakes. We go ahead and repack the wheel bearings with new disc brake approved high temperature wheel bearing grease. And that's what we're gonna be doing today on this boat. This is a bearing buddy that I was speaking about. Most people just pack this full here. It pushes grease into the hub. What happens is the grease itself starts breaking down and it becomes very runny. And when it becomes contaminated like this, it starts causing the hub to heat up. So this bearing that we pulled on the hub on the outside, you can see the grease is actually broken down and it's no longer providing the lubrication that it needs and the hubs become hot. What happens, once, this, once the grease breaks down, it actually pumps past the seal and it contaminates both the hub surface and it also gets on the inside of the brakes. So what we're looking at here is actually grease that has pumped past the seal and gone in and started to coat the inside of the brakes. Because the brakes were so low and contaminated with grease, we decided to go ahead and replace the existing brakes with new uh, OEM replacement. So what we're going to do now with our packed bearings and hubs, we're going to go ahead and install it on the spindle and we'll tighten the bearings down and show you how to preset the tension on your bearings. So with our bearings and everything pre-installed that we just packed, we're going to install the hub assembly back onto the spindle just like that then we'll go ahead and put our washer and retaining nut on and we'll set the preload when we're setting the preload on our bearing what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we're going to tighten it snug we're going to spin the hub and drum assembly we're going to make sure we're still snug spin it and then I like to back it off about a quarter. And what that does is that frees that up so we're not preloading the bearings too much. On this particular spindle setup, they use what's known as a cookie cutter washer. And this is multi-adjustable to fit the cotter keyhole. So we're going to put that on and I just happen to luck out and it lines up on the first one. We're gonna put our cotter key in so we can go ahead and we'll install his bearing buddy back onto it and that will drive inside. And that's gonna complete the install of the hub and drum. I'm Brian from The Springworks. If you have any questions on your trailer or bearing packing issues, please give us a call down at the shop.